as we look across the nation to see recent events, tensions, and unrest, we are reminded of the conversations that we really have to start with at home. And today we're joined by Deborah Porter, life coach for moms and founder of the Moms Mentoring Circle for a special conversation about conversations we should be having at home. Hi, Deborah. Hi, how are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for being with us. I mean, as you've seen, we've seen protests, we've seen peaceful and some not so peaceful across our nation this week and last. And at this point, we're all working to really digest what's been happening and how to have those conversations in our homes. And I think especially since we have children that are home for summer, college students home for summer, there are some conversations, maybe even in addition to previous conversations that we've had, that we really have to revisit at this point. And you have an awesome way of approaching this, an acronym. So tell us about that and, and how we can get started. Thanks for having me. And you know, you mentioned all the things that have developed just this week, but you know, we forget that we're also still in the middle of a pandemic as well. So it's, it's, been, it's been a lot the past few months, but I like to encourage moms to approach the conversation about race with their children using the acronym LOVE. Um, each letter standing for something in particular. But the reason that I use that is because I don't want us to do it from a place of fear. I don't want us to do it from a place of dread. And so if you approach it from a place of love, your child is gonna pick up on how you're describing and how you're explaining it. And so that's why, that's why we use that acronym. Absolutely, and I love that. Starting with love. Regardless of skin color, background, starting with love is really the key. So as we start, we start with the letter L. Yes, and L is gonna to speak to language. You wanna be sure that the language you're using is intentional. You also wanna make sure that what you're talking about and what you're telling is truthful. You don't wanna to try to rewrite history. You don't wanna gloss over things to the point that you're not really speaking truth. You do wanna do it in an age appropriate way. Obviously there are things you can talk about with your 15 year old that's gonna be way too much for your five year old. So you just want to make sure you're talking truthfully. You want to make sure you're talking intentionally because words matter. I think that that's one thing we're learning right now. Words matter. And even in the way you're talking about things, as we think about holidays and talking about holidays, you know, July 4th, we celebrate. We can also celebrate Juneteenth, right? Both of those things have to be able to exist because both of those things are America, right? We can talk about and learn about Thanksgiving. We can also learn about the Trail of Tears. All of that is America. So we don't want to just kind of focus on the fun, feel-good stuff. We have to have the conversations about the difficult stuff as well. Absolutely. And, and I'm so glad you brought that up because that also means that sometimes as parents, there has to be a little bit of prehistory learning as well in order to make sure that you're speaking truthfully about all of the different aspects of American history. And regardless of the good and the bad, we've got to address it all because that's really what has helped us to get to where we are at this point. I love that. All right, so then we've, we get to O in talking about owning your own voice. Yep, owning your own voice, owning your place in society, and then allowing your voice to be joined with the voices of others, right? We talk about injustices. And I like to talk to parents about how do you um, encourage your child when they see an injustice or when they see a child being treated maybe not in a great way? What is your encouragement to your child? How should they respond? You know, we've had this conversation before as it pertains to bullies. So it's not um, an unfamiliar ground for parents, but we need to make sure that not only are we instructing our children, because the old adage is true, kids will not only do what you say, they're gonna do what you do. And so this is really gonna be a moment where parents are really gonna have to kind of look at themselves and their own lives and how they are responding in this acronym and with these words. That's right, it is truly from the top down. You've got to start 
loving people your own self because it's much easier to teach through example than it is to teach through words. That's right. It's caught. It's not always taught. A lot of this really is caught. But, you know, encouraging your child, when you see something unfair, join your voice to that. When you see children behaving badly, you know, don't join in on that. You know, own your own narrative, own your story, own your position. Don't let yourself be, you know, kind of going along with the crowd, being quiet, because silence is complicity in a lot of cases. Absolutely. And then we've got V for values. Yeah, this is a great one. And I love talking about this one because this is an easy one to talk about. We all have family values and certain ways we behave and certain things that are true for our individual families. You know, how does your family deal with lying? How does your family deal with fairness? How does your family deal with, you know, injustices? So it's a great way to just kind of tie in, you know, we expect you to behave as if people were watching. You know, we, we expect you to behave. If we were standing there, how would you behave if you saw that occur? So it's about really giving kids kind of their own power in their own voice, but then connecting it to the bigger picture of, you know, this is our family. This is how we behave. This is what we do. And again, it's going to be another moment for you to really look at yourself and say, how am I responding to injustices that I see? What am I saying? Am I adding my voice? Am I stepping up when I see people not being treated fairly? But connecting it to home and connecting it to a, a goal of your family helps to bring it home for kids. Certainly. And then we get to the, the last, but certainly not least, E for empathy. Yeah, E, I love this one as well. And I like to talk about empathy because I think there are times that we assume empathy and sympathy are the same thing. They are not. Sympathy is saying, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Empathy is stepping back and saying, what would I feel if I were in their shoes and that was happening to me? And then responding in that way. So it's, it's, it's a joining. Sympathy can be done from afar. Empathy, I'm joining with you because I'm trying to relate to how would I respond? How would I feel if I were in your shoes? And so taking kids through this, I think really no matter the age, the conversation can get deeper. As your children are older, you really can go to certain examples. It's important to really ask them, what have you heard about what's going on? What have you seen about what's going on? Because you want to bring truth to everything they're hearing. That's a big part of this is speaking truth, speaking it in love and being intentional about it. Absolutely. And this is so helpful and such a critical time for us all across the nation to really be reminded of what's important and taking those values that we have and applying them in every way, regardless of where we are, regardless of who we might be working with or dealing with at the time, and regardless sometimes of how people may have treated or have talked to you. And we so appreciate you being with us and sharing this critical piece of information with us. Thank you. Thank you. I would just say one final thing. Make sure that you have toys, books, movies by, um, that represent other cultures in your home. This is a great way for kids to understand there's no difference. Have you know, other authors of other cultures in your home, toys, dolls. Um, what it does is it does not make it an awkward conversation or an awkward leap for your family. You're already showing the appreciation of the contributions of other people in other cultures. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate it. And for those of you who'd like to learn more about Deborah and Mom's Mentoring Circle, we encourage you to go to our website at wtvr.com slash btm.